NQ Dry Tropics, Burdick and Shire Council, Russell Chapman and his family have partnered up to provide this experience to landholders in the region just to try and enhance their opportunities to tackle weed infestations on their patch. It's seldom that in, in North Queensland you get an opportunity to see so many different types of machinery work and have the, and, and with that opportunity comes the, the ability then to make a decision about what you need um, to, to work most effectively and, and cost efficiently on your property. We have a range of people that have come to the demonstration day to day. The, the area they've come from is between Mackay and Tully out to Huendon. Most of them are of farming or grazing backgrounds and interested in, in learning how which tools are appropriate for their particular issue on their on their patch. The range of machinery we have here before NQ Dotropics and Burdick and Shire got involved and, and contributed towards this project, the, Ch the Chapman family had already uh, hired in a range of co contract machinery. So there are D9s here with large tree pulling chains. Um, there are D9s with stick rakes and cutter bars. Steiger, large Steiger four-wheel drive tractors, massive horsepower, you know, 240 horsepower tractors with large grizzly discs. Um, and and then, then we've also developed, tried to develop an understanding of an integrated approach where we've then got the tool inder excavator device that actually plucks tree, tree weeds out of the ground. That's been um, demonstrated here today. We've got Fabian Piver with his with his bobcat mounted mulcher. And down to um, Centrogen with um, you know quick spray units, um, splatter gun equipment and their range of, of excellent tools to to deal with um, regrowth and to fo and follow up control of, of m machinery um, type works. So there's a, there's a huge range of machinery available for people to to um, de develop an understanding of what's best for them. So the L-Rod actually is a, a front-mounted cutter bar that takes a lot less horsepower to push through the, the, the soil profile. So Frank, Frank builds these for Bobcat, from everything from Bobcat scale right through to D9 scale. And you know the most appropriate machine for this particular property, I think, would be a, a D9 with a with an L rod on uh, on the front. <coughs> Obviously, that's going to come with some cost. But putting a chain between two dozers and then cutter barring and stick raking, that comes at a huge cost as well. Previous to the Chapman family purchasing Glen Yarra, only uh, a few months ago this year, it was Glen Yarra was um, typically used as grazing for over the last 40 40 odd years, and with the income from grazing and uh, absentee landlords, the, the property gradually become degraded and overgrown with prickly acacia and chiny apple, and some degree rubber vine uh, along the riparian zones. So what the Chapman family have invested in is, is, a, is a large grazing property uh, with a view to using the, the um, less, less valuable land as grazing and the, and the agricultural areas for cropping. And they they haven't as yet made a decision on what that crop those crops will look like, but you know they've got a range of opportunities because it's it's a, a beautiful black soil that will virtually grow any any crop that they decide to to propagate. As I said earlier, the Chapman family purchased this land about three months ago, and they've got 1,300 acres uh, at the stage where the lasers can come in now. So it's it's been chain pulled, double chain pulled, stick raked. The rows have been burnt. The country's been cut barred and the country's been disc. So, uh, as I say, it's, it's pretty much ready now. Within three months, for the lasers to go in and start to, to put uh, put the grades uh, the grades on the land to to um, apply cultivation or trickle irrigation. So, you know, from pure stands of prickly acacia to full production, providing the waters available uh, within the one year.